So today alone, I've seen about five or six different posts talking about how guys are are pigs and they're always playing on their girl and they're always treating them like shit and blah blah blah. It's so it's so fucking cliche and stupid to even attempt this. Half you hoes are out there fucking your boyfriend's brothers and shit, and and it's all being pinned on the guys as if we're the only demons of the group. Well, I, I mean, I've been done worse a lot worse than I've ever done a female, and I know many guys in the same boat. You know, here, here's the thing. We're all sensitive to begin with. We all have that, that butterflies in our stomach on in love type of thing when we're young at least once. And the newer generation, it's a little bit younger than it was when I was young, if that makes any sense. The newer generation, it's like you don't feel that anymore after you're 12 because by the time you're 13, all you want to do is get your dick wet or get your snatch licked. So now it's a little bit different, but it still happens the same way for all of us. There's, We all have had that so in love feeling where we would have just put our life on the line for a person and and that goes away after we're done wrong x amount of times some people more than others and that goes for male and female there's no ifs ands or buts about it it works out the same way good guys get fucked over too many times or even some of us just one time and we turn into the guy that we're gonna fuck your sister as soon as you don't text us back and for the girls, it's the same shit. The moment you don't text, <clears throat> or the moment you don't get your text back from the guy, you're already got no, you know, five, seven, twelve other backups in line waiting to just hear from you. That's what the friend zone's for, right? You got twelve in the friend zone that'll fuck you if you call them, and you got seventeen on the backup plan. So that way, when when number one ain't being there like number one you can replace number one with one with with number two through 17 because they all just been waiting and it's, it's a little harder for us guys we actually have to go out and get on somebody's list where you girls just look through the list so that, that's that's one place where things differ a little bit there but let me explain something else here too Every relationship I see, especially you younger generation, like you under under 30 crowd, it always winds up being the same deal with this. The insecurity. In any relationship, you got to have your trust to begin with. The, the relationship starts out with trust. And as long as nobody does any wrong to the other person then the trust stays and it should stay that way. It should be that way. And when somebody does wrong in the relationship, that's not your moment to pull out the leash and just put it on them and, and, and make sure the choker's set right. So if they tug a little too hard, then you're going to be choking them out. That's, that's not it at all. The, the thing you need to do at that point is continue your trust because if they've done you wrong and you still decide to stay in that relationship, then yeah, they did wrong but you're stupid too because if you don't trust them and you stay with them after they have already done you wrong then you're either waiting for another burn or you think that this is not a normal thing for them so you're going to go ahead and hope it doesn't happen again but either way when you're sitting there hoping it doesn't happen again if you try and control them you're looking through their phone you try and monitor the shit they do the places they go all because they done you wrong before, you're going to push them away. You're going to push them so fucking hard that they're going to walk up to the next guy that treats them like they haven't done wrong and they're going to want that guy or that girl. That That's the scenario. So the tighter you hold that leash and the shorter you make that leash, the more they're going to fucking break it. They're going to take their own collar off and they're going to become the person that you were afraid of them becoming because you tried to keep them from becoming that person. When you try too hard, you push them into a state of rebellion. And that state of rebellion leads to the destruction of not only your relationship, but them as a person. 
because you might try and control them for a year and a half and for that year and a half they have to do all the things they want to do behind your back but they're going to keep on doing those things behind your back because of how unhappy they are with the fact that you're controlling and you're an asshole so keep this advice in mind for your new year <clears throat> trust them or leave them that's your only options trust them or leave them that's it nothing else there's no option C. There's not a way to change this shit around. There's no other plan. There is trust them or leave them. Because you control them and your best friend going to be fucking them. <laughs>